Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We're so excited to see you here again tonight. Yay. <laughs> All right. So let me just introduce my team really quick. So clearly, my name's Heather coming in at you from Malaysia, even though I'm American. Peter, how about you? I am Peter Isis. I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. Awesome. Jeff? I'm Jeff Camilleri. I live in Essex in the UK. And Dan. And Dan Webb. I live in Reading, USA. <laughs> so very cool. And our friend Sunil should be joining us soon as well. So very exciting. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jeff, for writing those names. Welcome, everybody. Do tell us where you're from. If you'd like a word, please do comment. Also, um, if you want to practice, you are welcome to practice. I'm always open to that. Um, just, you know, make sure that it's an encouraging gold type of word, you know, uh, that's what the New Testament's all about. So that'd be cool. All right. All right, team. Um, let's see if team also, yeah, just, we want to, if you have a word for someone, let me know in the private chat. So I know you're ready. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> all right. And actually I'm going to start here with, uh, Cassandra. So Cassandra, oh uh, wait, hold on a second. There we go. Um, welcome, thanks for joining us today. So Cassandra, I just see a picture, like your your name has obviously the word sand, and I just see a child like playing in a sandbox and having a lot of fun. And I just feel like the father just really wants to meet you in a really playful way. Like I feel like just like a, a good relationship, like a father with their daughter, or son, like um, he just wants to be, play with the child. He wants to see the child in the sandbox, just having a lot of fun. And I just see actually lots of sandbox, like like tools, you know, like buckets and shovels and all that. And I feel like this is a season where the Lord is actually saying, "Come and dream with me." And it's almost like as if, just as an example here, it's very metaphorical, maybe. But I almost feel like this child building things in the sandbox. But when they grow up, they're actually like going to become an architect. You know what I mean? 
So I just feel like you're in a season where you're just dreaming with God. And as you play and dream with God right now, it's actually going to form into something that's actually going to become your real reality and become your blueprint for your vision, visions and dreams and the destiny that God has over your life. So hope that encourages you. Let us know. We do love specific feedback. So let me know if there's if that speaks to you or if you have any questions. Also, let me know as well. All right. Awesome. All right, team, anyone else ready? <laughs> so we could put on Dan's music again, which, by the way, you guys should all check out. Dan has a new uh, YouTube channel, so we're going to have to post that in here. More songs <laughs> coming, so thank you. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. It's great. It brings healing, peace. We all need more of that. Thank you, Jesus. Speaking of yeah. silence the phone, yes. <laughs> that wasn't one of your tracks. <laughs> that was funny. No, that was some uh, some random ad. You know when you go to those job apps and you forget to not click off the boxes and they use your home phone number. So they, <laughs> they oh. I think it's your home phone number. I'm like, yes. And they're like, you want to go back to school? Like, no, we're good. <laughs> so um, uh, how about, uh, did you just, Cassandra? I don't mm -hmm. want to put the person's name, so I want to apologize ahead of time. Uh, Fung, Fungay, Sippy, uh, it's Spongy's yeah. sister or Cindy So's sister. Okay, that that that'll work. Cindy So's sister, I do apologize. <laughs> I just I just do not want to butcher the name to say I just don't. So, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a nice name. I, I see the last name and I thought of like Baton Bulldozer, but it says Baton. Jose, but I, I feel like baton bulldozer, like sometimes batons are used in parades and the handoff and a relay and a bulldozer lays ground. And actually when you build something, it's like there's a part where someone hands off the plans and someone has to build it. And I feel like you're real good at baton at being a, a, a partaker and helping people pass on ideas that they become realities. Maybe there's city civil structures that you're involved with or school structures that have to be applied. Um, these things don't happen by themselves. I mean, these things are happening because people are public servants or, or workers. And I feel like you're a really good teammate or a really good partner of people in, in ideas. And you've been gifted with administration and sort of um, working conditions that you like. I feel like you, you, you really carry that well. Um, maybe some definite office skills going on. But I feel like that you really promoted the kingdom. And I saw a shovel. And before the bulldozer goes, the silver shovel. I feel I saw a silver shovel digging in the ground. I feel like wisdom is breaking ground where you've been planting seeds. And um, I feel like you've been planting things that need a shovel, not just thrown into a field, but things that need to be put into the ground and sort of given root. And uh, for you to be encouraged in this hour, because God is doing things in your life. And, and he is talking in a language that you understand it, that converses well with other people. You are, you are aware that other people speak different perspectives not just dialects and he understands that i feel like you're having favor and uh, and peace to communicate clearly other people's ideas and that you carry that well you have a grace to carry other people's ideas and your ideas as they partner together very well and just to keep going and i feel like there to be that you're a, a place of renewal and god is moving right now and for you to be encouraged because you're an amazing person and I feel the love of God around it. And it's almost like a mayor when he cuts the ribbon in the city. And I feel like there's an opening for you, like the keys to opening the park or, or opening this vision or breaking ground in something new. And I feel like God's there and you're at an appointed time to carry out those things that God has put in your heart. So bless you. Awesome. Very cool. Let us know if that encouraged you. <laughs> it, it really is helpful, actually. It just helps us kind of gauge like what parts we're hearing really, really accurately and what parts we need to like learn on, you know? So it's really good. Uh, awesome. Very cool. Oh, do you have more to share? Yeah. I'll let the motorcycle go by. <laughs> so. I bet I was I was on my lawnmower about a half hour ago and I was listening to this song on the on Bethel's latest album and it says it's the song Anything is Possible and it is like reverberating. It was reverberating as I was listening. I'm like, I know this word is for somebody, and I feel like it's I want to give this word to 
Tinswala, Tinswala. I'm sorry, I'm not saying your name very well. Oh, oh here, the one here, this one. Yes. Awesome. And, and I just want to tell you, um, I'm sorry if I can't say your name, but I just want to say anything is possible. And I want to release breakthrough on your life. I want to release breakthrough and say that anything is possible. I just feel like there's, 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 you need, you need to hear an encouraging word of breakthrough. And I just want to bless you with breakthrough and speak breakthrough on, on whatever situation that you need breakthrough in right now. I just want to release it. I just release breakthrough right now to you in the name of Jesus. And I say, be loose, be loose, be loose, be loose. I send the freedom angels that would be that would loose the chains of whatever it is that is that is that is that is um, swallowing around you. I don't think it's you, but I think the circumstances around you that are that are affected negatively. And I just say be loosed, and I say and I release the peace of heaven upon you in the name of Jesus. Go on. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. And also, I just want to add to you. Um, for this word, uh, I also see like public speaking and I, I just feel like, uh, you know, I was just reading, uh, I'm starting a new course with Global Awakening about the Old Testament prophets. So that's gonna be really exciting. And as I was reading about it though, it was talking about how, um, how like basically the prophets were a voice. Like the, there are three things that God really does not like, obviously, and that's like idols, but one is like he gets really like it's not good when there's social injustice. And I feel like God is saying like like that is an error that nations have when they don't care about social justice. And I feel like God has given you a voice for the voice list. And I feel like God has given you a gift to actually speak into injustice issues, to actually bring justice and to be a voice to those who don't have a voice or, or don't aren't um, secure enough in their identity to stand up for themselves. So just know that even if it seems like a small scale thing, God is going to use you in a big way to be a voice for the voiceless. So blessings to you. Mm. Awesome. Very cool. All right. So I have a word here for Shane, Shane Kelly. So, so I'm like, um, Shane, I was getting that band. I feel like Dan might know this better than me, but Shane and Shane. <laughs> Dan, you know them, right? You know Shane and Shane? Do you know them? That was like 20 years ago. Okay, I'm like dating myself maybe, but it's okay. Anyway, um, definitely in the 90s, but they're still around apparently. But I got Shane and Shane, and I remember they came to our church like a long time ago, and they played. And what I loved about Shane and Shane is that as they came in, they were just really real people. And when I, you know, and I, I actually met another band that was more famous at one point, which I will not say the name of. And they were not actually polite to us, but Shane and Shane were just so down to earth. Now, I don't know that I even met them personally, but you could just tell the way that they converse with everyone. They were very real. And I feel like God is going to really use your realness to bring a lot of people around you. And I know that I just asked you if you do worship and you said you're leading a church plant and lead a good bit of the worship, which is amazing. But I feel like like uh, someone gave me a word one time when I was at BSSM about we had to ask our friends like to give us feedback about how we are as people or something. That's probably not what they said, but that's how I took it. Anyway, so my friends gave me feedback that like one of my friends said, Heather, you're not a leader that leads from the front. You're a leader that leads from the middle and you pull all the people around you, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Anyway, uh, I haven't changed, but I feel like you're that person that you're really going to bring people like you have no problem propelling people into something like you're, if they're really good with evangelism, you're like, go do that thing because you're really good at it, you know, even if it's better than you. And you're just propelling people into their destinies. So I just want to bless you, Shane, and just know that your role, you're like a linchpin. Like if you have that wheel and that center part wasn't there, you wouldn't have the wheel and it wouldn't go anywhere. But you're someone who actually is that linchpin and you help people get where they're going. And um, yeah, so keep being that Shane and Shane experience for people because you're going to really help propel them into the destinies in the future. And one last thing real quick. So Pastor Grace uh, is a pastor from Uganda, and he actually, well, he died like several times, came, went to heaven, came back. Anyway, that's a story for another time. I'm going to have him on my prophetic chats in the future, so watch out for that. But he's, yeah, it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. Anyway, but Pastor Grace said that when he, one of his, experiences when he was in heaven 
was that he saw people with different um like yards kind of so like their gardens and he noticed that like his garden was really well taken care of but the gardens next to his were not well tended and jesus was like what are you doing about their gardens because god has brought people to serve under him but he needs to help them make sure they're also tending their gardens and not just tending his so when he came back from that experience, obviously we woke up in the morgue anyway, uh, literally. Um, but he shared that with his uh, church people. And well, his he just changed how he did ministry after that. And I just, again, just want to encourage you, you're going in the right direction where you're helping people to tend their own gardens. And Jesus is just so proud of that. So blessings to you, Shane. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I was on a roll on that one. All right. Let's see. Who else? is ready to give a word. Are you guys ready that in the comments? I don't know if I see it. Who's ready? Anyone ready? I'm gonna look All right, uh, Dave, marriage. Oh, that, that's a cool name there, Dave. Dave, I, I feel like I, I saw, this would be a silly word, I saw a banana uh, peel back because it's appealing. Uh, sort of a sense of humor that there's a fruit in the season and it's being peeled back and it's appealing that you have you have fruit in your life that is appealing and uh what you have to share it, it has a lot of vi a lot of vitamins a lot of everything about it when you share that right now it was sort of a tropical place and i think it kind of represents the sturdiness because palm trees actually grow in deserts when i was a kid they grow in the desert they don't just grow near near watery beaches they 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 will grow and they'll get really big and they have a very sturdy external tusk you know or external bark whatever whatever it's called where it grows and i feel like a lot of what you have to share is like that it's strong but welcoming and that you have a restful sort of atmosphere of what what you're sharing and partaking in the fruit in this season that god is moving and sharing dave uh, what you're doing and it's strong and resourceful like a palm tree welcomes people in to you know an ocean of grace and I think I feel like that's really important because people have journeys they have to do with God or moments some people are at fishing or you know casting their net on the other side some people are back to the shore having having that moment of this is what real life is going to look like with Jesus the rest of their life you know with Peter Peter's having a life conversation with Jesus he's, he's really having a life conversation and I feel like you help welcome people in this season to partake and enjoy and renew and that both things are happening at once from what what you're sharing it's it's for multiple areas where people are in different streams and different places in this season and the comfort that is amazing that 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 it's what you're presenting is an atmosphere that's uh diverse it's diverse and it's restful and it's really important to the to the people uh uh, community around you. It's almost pastoral. The palm tree is almost pastoral, strong and sturdy, but it's welcoming. You know, it has a place. It, it has, a, you know, a position uh, of rest. And I feel like you carry that well. You have a sort of a pastoral comfort and shade, like healing leaves or like the palm trees that give praise to Jesus when he enters the city. Everything about what, you, what you're carrying your atmosphere right now is drawing them to an encounter to participate and communicate with Christ. So bless you, Dave. Uh, I feel like you carry a lot of honor and just like sun, sun rays on a beach. There's a lot of glory, what's going on around you. And um, it's very natural and inviting to come in and talk with Jesus when you share what, what's going on. So thanks for being here. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> that's Peter's friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I'll get Peter's face. I'll see if, you know. Give me the baseball signal or if he's like, yeah, that's good. Oh, awesome. this is cool. Thank you so much for the feedback. We really appreciate yeah. it. Yay, thank, thank you, Jesus. Woohoo. Come on. And you're going to be a voice to the voiceless. So take that and run with it. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Um. All right. Anyone else ready to go? Sure. Right. Jump. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so Kina Robert Robinson. Kina Rob, Kina Robinson. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's how you say Kina. Got it. Hi, Kina. I just want to speak blessing over your life. And I want to speak. Can you see that? The bubbly of the Holy Spirit upon you. 
this is a sparkling drink here in North America, and and we I drink a lot of them. It's just water, sparkled water. But I just want to speak a blessing, and this one happens to be purple, Holy Spirit, and I just want to release that upon you, Kina. I want to release the Holy Spirit life that bubbling life of the Holy Spirit upon you and just release that 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 internal that deep internal knowing that 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 we all have I want to release a, de a a greater measure of that upon your life where it just starts to pour out and pour th through and 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 out of you and it just starts to bubble out where you can't even control it at some points where you're just like oh my gosh I I ah uh, it's just inside and it's the Lord and it's and I just see the Lord on you and it's just bubbling out out of you and he's just like he's just excited he's so excited he's so excited about you and he is bubbling over with joy over you Kina and I see this like this this joy on his face uh, surrounding you and you're just full of life and he just loves your life. And I just bless you with that in the name of Jesus. Awesome. Come on. And this was so cool too. Yay, Dan. Great word there. Praise the Lord. And also, please, if you're watching this, don't be shy. Uh, if you have never gotten a word before, we'd love to give you a word. Also, let us know it's your first time as well. We do want to make sure that we spread it out. And, you know, if you haven't gotten one, we can give you one. So definitely let us know. Uh, awesome. Praise the Lord. So good. All right. Anyone else ready? I'm going to jump. Sorry, I'm not trying to keep jumping. So just let me know if someone I'd just be like, hey, and I'll totally do it. Um so, Winnie, I just was seeing, uh, I, every time I see you, I feel like I get Disneyland. I think that's right. Remind me if that's true. I, I keep getting Mickey Mouse, Disneyland. <laughs> but this time, I hear the Lord saying, like, you will win. And I don't know if I said that before. But um, I just hear the Lord saying, you will win. You will win. And I, I feel like God wants you to know that you're a winner. You're a winner in his kingdom. And you've gotten that gold star. And in fact, we love our props here. So there we go. You get the gold star of heaven. And Winnie, I just want to let you know that like Graham Cook says, and I love how he says this, but he says that every day we can live under the smile of God. And so he is smiling over you and he's putting that sticker on you every day saying that you're a winner with me. And I'm reminded of the scripture where um, Jesus, uh, I think it's in John 3, I think. Don't quote me on that. You can look it up. But it's when Jesus got baptized with John the Baptist and the, the, uh, the dove, not the of, the dove came down and rested upon him. And the father said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. But there's a cool couple of cool things about that scene was one. It was before Jesus did any official ministry. So it was not about him earning anything. It was simply the fact that his father loved him for who he was. And the Heavenly Father absolutely loves you for who you are. You are a gold star in his kingdom just because of who he created you to be. He formed you in his, with his own hands, and he loves you so much. You are made in his image, and he is just so in love with you. You are a winner with him. And the second part that's really cool, that was kind of whew, an epiphany for me, but when someone shared that one time, they said, you know, it says that the dove came, that heaven's open, the dove came down, and then it never says that it shut you know, so we always can live under this open heaven of what God has done for us. So just know, Winnie, that you're a winner in his kingdom every day. Mm -hmm. And he smiles with delight over you. And anyone that needs that word, take it for yourself because it's true about each one of us. Blessings. All right. <laughs> yes, please do share this live feed. If you guys are encouraged by this, we would love to encourage your friends. So it really does help to actually share this live feed. So you can go to my Facebook page, Heather Nichols, or even Revealing the Heartbeat of God, and you can share it from there. So that would be really helpful for us as well. So thank you so much. All right. Dan, you're ready. Go for it. Hey. All right. Uh, Miss Jen Bryson Moorcroft. Oh, there we go. Hey, how you doing? It's like a beach right there. That's great. It's um, in East London, South Africa, and they're right on the coast. That's great. I got two two words: uh, total environment, and that you have concern for the total environment. 
and the, uh, all the process and the and the, and as it goes together, it has a purpose, and you're very good at having those purposes. And the other word was like Microsoft. I know your name's Moorcroft, but Microsoft, you know, the application has different aspects to it on the Windows system, so you can do a whole bunch of different things and cross platforms. I feel like you're really good at that, and that in the peace of God, that in the hope, there are different parts of the body. I mean, I don't think Paul's just talking about an arm. I think he's making an analogy. You know, there are different parts, and um, there's a lot of glory in what he does. That's not. It, it's it's really power impactful, and I feel like you really carry that power and impactfulness, and it's it really has a good purpose. Um, sometimes uh, uh, glory clouds, whatever, they're good, but it in the Sinai, they didn't do too good. Like that wasn't in itself a character changing thing for them. I feel like there are, there are signs and they're good. And then Paul talks about modest that I think you're very good at the modest parts and the good parts and, and, and all of it coming together to sort of hold the house together. I see joints of a house and a corner that when a storm comes that the house is well built and the purpose and, and stuff that's sticking together in your life is hold, holding it well built. Like, your house is built in this gentleness and kindness and that God is really creating a very strong structure that's helping people stay gelled together. And I feel like you do that well, like two bricks on mortar, like the mortar that's in between the bricks. I feel like it's the wisdom that God is mixing in your life. And I feel like um, restoration, even for you, I feel like when we when we weep for the poor and Jesus tells us to do all these things, you know, pray with them, go to the sick, you share in people's pains. And so you actually have tears too. And so I feel like you have a very compassionate person and that is mixing in the mortar and it's making a very strong foundation where you're at Miss, Miss Moorcroft and it's, it lets people heal. I feel like there's a very healing aspect of, to this environment that holds and gels everything together. That's sort of in the ecosystem or the life or the church, just everyday life. You do very well in that environment. You bring healing in, in the compassion, caring and wisdom and, and, and you found the father in Christ. And I feel like I hear that. It's just like real strong. Found the father in Christ. And you really carry that love, that parental, gentle love. You carry that powerful grace that, that impacts your community. Mm, nice. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Very good. Jen is like one of the most creative people I've ever met. She is amazing, amazing, amazing. So really good. Awesome. And Yes, so amazing. Like her stuff's going places. Very exciting. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's see. All right, Peter, you ready? Go for yep. it. Yep. So Michelle, um, I'm not sure we, we have written down here Michelle Michelle. I don't know if that's your name. Um we'll just go with it. I'll just go, I'll call you Michelle. Um I I, I heard the Lord say, You have a story to tell. And uh like you need to get your story out. I really feel like there's a, 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 an avenue and an opportunity for you to release your story. And there's, and I kept seeing the keyboard, I kept seeing my keyboard, like, and writing. And, and I feel like th there's writing in your future, or even maybe if maybe you already do write, I'm not sure, but, and, and there's, there's, there's something about you writing your story and communicating your story. And I feel like that there's there's people who need to hear your story and what you have to offer and from from your what you've overcome in your life and the, and the freedom that you've received from Christ. And I believe that the people need to hear your story. I just keep hearing that resounding through my head. People need to hear your story. People need to hear your story. People need to hear your story. It's like it's just reverberating through me. And I just want to say. Michelle, I want to hear your story. I want to hear your story. I'm just going to call it out. I just want to call it out. I want to hear your story, Michelle. I just want to. I just want to bring it out. I want to hear it, and I want to I'll, from the Lord. I feel like the Lord is saying that. So, just receive that if it's you know, and I bless you with that in the in Jesus' name. Awesome. Yes. Very cool. Very good. All right, and. Charles, where's Charles? Charles Jarman. I'm probably saying that wrong. Sorry, <laughs> but I was really seeing it as Jarman, and it was reminding me of my grandma. She was born in 1913 with her twin. They're both born 1913, obviously, 
and they lived in this really old farmhouse for the last 20 years of their lives or whatever. And they would, you know, can some food and leave it in the basement, you know, which was very scary down there. But anyway, all that to say, though, they always had these jars like these jars canned food that they would make from their things from their garden or the fruit from the trees and stuff like that. And it was things that would last them all winter. And I feel like Charles, that like God has really equipped you to help people with like resources. Like I would even say just spiritual resources as well. It might be physical. I'm not sure, but, but I feel like you are such a giver. Like, I feel like you have a very generous heart. You're a very generous giver. I mean, I don't know you at all. <laughs> this is what I feel like God say. Uh, my grandpa had a huge garden. He was always giving, giving, giving. Uh, my other, my dad's dad, and then talking about my mom's mom. But anyway, but these jars lasted all winter, you know, and they would often give it to people as gifts and things like that. And and it was something that was really resourceful and it actually sustained people. And I feel like God, like not only I feel like are you a generous giver and that you actually give to people like resourceful, like physical material, but I feel like you're someone that is going to, God's going to give you the word in season to actually encourage someone. It may not seem like a big deal. It might just seem like a sentence here or a phrase there or a word, couple words here or there. But I really feel like you're going to give to people words in season. And they're going to be so blessed and encouraged. And it's going to help them get through the tr more challenging seasons of life. So I bless you with both the earthly and the spiritual resources of heaven that they will be at your disposal because you give them out generously. Blessings to you, Charles. Does anyone know Charles here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Charles, let us know what you think. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. All right. You have a word for, okay, I'm going to say Michelle. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. From India. <laughs> so terrible. We met last year and a half ago. <laughs> and a half and a half. Yeah. Hey, Vishal, uh, Vishal, uh, uh, Hey, well, um, I said a, a moment of healing, and I, I see a picture. You have so you have a family there, a community, and I uh, I think you do that well. I, I feel like the healing and anointing for uh, through family communications, and I think like through saintly family communications as well, where you can reach other believers. You are very friendly, you're outreaching, and it allows opportunities for people to have favor. Um, I think sometimes the word is just covering to describe this or discussions in scripture that we talk about. You know the disciples were under Jesus. You know, you know the head, this, the the divine God. You know the first Christian, the whole the, the the person was a source. And I feel like you invite people to the source, and you extend like an axe where people line people up under Peter's shadow. That I'm pretty sure that's not Peter's idea. I'm sure that the creativity God honored. Like, oh hey, I like that. Look at them. Look at them working together. And I feel like you help people work together as a team, and uh, and that the supernatural in a natural way in your community, just the things you do invites people to meet a very real God that's on 24 seven in the peace of their homes in having coffee time in talking around a sofa or a dinner table. And uh, I feel like you really carry that community in favor and there's healing in the words that you offer Michelle. So bless you. And uh, I feel like there's a lot of joy and compassion in your life. So, uh, I feel like God honors, I hear God honors that and you're an honoring person and that creates value. And there's a kindness around you that brings people and it calms some people's temperaments that they can hear and feel what God is doing for them right there. And so it's awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Peter, you have a word for Sherry? Wait, Peter, we can't hear you, but we can oh, hear yeah. you. Are you on mute? <laughs> I muted myself, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I heard you moving, so that was so weird. It takes like five minutes, he's like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that word? I just want to speak get that word? <laughs> Everybody speaks their hands out like that. She's like. It's be real prophetic Woo! to catch that word. <laughs> All right, go for it. Wow. Wow, I needed that moment there. That's awesome. <laughs> Sherry, I just speak blessing on your chaos. Whatever chaos is in your life, I speak a blessing to it right now. I speak the 
blessing of the Holy Spirit upon what is in your life and what is surrounding you. If there's a swirl around you, I just pray for order to come out of the chaos that is in your life that is surrounding you. I speak to it and I say, order, line up. I say, chaos, line up and disappear and order come. Order come to your life right now, Sherry. And I see your capacity is about to increase. I see a, your, your capacity is about to grow exponentially i see the holy spirit pouring into you a lot like a lot a lot a lot and i see i see a lot more pouring into you and i see it like expanding out and i see you uh releasing the holy spirit and releasing the love of christ out from from your situation and to those around you that are in your life i speak blessing on your life in the name of jesus awesome yes and I always like, whenever I think of chaos, I always think of we cancel chaos, we really shalom. And shalom in the Passion Translation means means to break the authority of chaos and release abundant peace. So we just speak shalom on anyone that needs that right now in their life, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. awesome. Very cool. And also some feedback for you, Dan. Yay, thank you, Jesus. So cool. Yeah, very cool. Yes, and Chiva is being amazing. Oops. Yes, Jiva's being so awesome. She's part of our team here writing comments. Go Jiva, she's so amazing. So watch out for that. <laughs> oh, hi Alta, so good to see you. Yay, from South Africa. I just shared her testimony. She has an amazing testimony about how God healed her of cancer, basically, uh, a couple of times. But one in her one testimony, she had a vision where she had diamonds in her hand. And God said, don't drop your diamonds. And she's kind of like, what does that mean? And the next day she got worried that she might, might have cancer. And then I think they even came back saying she did have cancer. But God was like, don't drop your diamonds. Don't drop your diamonds. So she listened to the Lord. And then they found out that they had switched their, her report with someone else's. And she did not. She was cancer free. So I just love, yes. I love how the Lord is. Yes, I know the testimony. I just shared it with someone the other day because I was like, don't drop your diamonds. <laughs> Such a good testimony. If you have that link, Alta, can you post it here? I would love people to see that. So amazing. And yes, Peter. Woohoo! Good job. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus is bringing shalom. Shalom, yes. shalom. I speak shalom over you in Jesus' name. Awesome. Yes. So friends, yes, comment. We are we are leaving words here. We're going through the list here. Um let's see. All right. So I have a word here for I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to say your name. No be so maybe. Um so I feel like oh that's funny because I see your, your name has the word once. Um but I feel like hold on, let me ask what he's saying about this. Hold on. So it's interesting because you have a lot of S's in your name. And I just keep thinking like, you know, we have the alphabet, right? And I literally have my little alphabet. I teach English, right? So whoop, look, there's one S. But, you know, sometimes we want more. Like we can have many S's. Like your name has many S's. But I just feel like the pleasure is I just want to release the pleasure of God over your life right now. That it's not just about God meeting our needs, but it's actually a good heavenly father that wants to give us good gifts too. And I'm not speaking of the prosperity gospel or anything, but we, that is literally what the scriptures say, though, is that we have a heavenly father. How much more does he give us good gifts? And he really cares not just about our needs, but our wants too. And I just feel like the father is saying, like, it's okay to want, like, like, some things that we desire, it's actually the Lord. He wants us to have the increase so that we can then give it out. So, you know, we can use that to help. Like my parents were given a sailboat, you know, and it wasn't, of course they enjoyed it, but they also invited many, many people and shared Jesus with many, many people that came on that boat with them. You know, that's what the increase is about. Um, but God doesn't want to just give you your needs. He wants to give you your wants too. And in fact, in a very, very short testimony, very, very short, cutting it very short, but I literally, my twin sister and I went to Broadway. We prayed for this like Broadway show we wanted to go to. It cost too much money. We put our names in a lottery. Someone else's, I prayed that my name would get picked first because I'm a daughter of the king. They picked like 15 names. My name was not picked. But the family that we got to know standing there for that 30 minutes, the husband's name got picked. And in the end, he got picked first. And in the end, he bought our tickets, those tickets for us. 
<laughs> so we didn't just get cheap tickets. We got free tickets on Broadway for a show that our hearts had a desire to see for a year. So I just want to tell you, like when God, he wants to bless his kids. So ask the Lord and just be like, God, we love you so much. And we love you for all that you are, not just material things, but just go beyond just the needs and be like, God, what do you want to do here? Because he wants to do more always. He's the God of more. So blessings to you. All right. Very cool. Let's see. All right. Dan, I don't think I, okay. No, you did that. Okay. Peter. Sorry. Looking at the list here. Peter. Okay. So Mac. Um, yes. Again, sorry, but we're butchering names. F feeble, feeble. Don't know. Okay. I'll just call you Mac. I just saw um, um, one. Of, I love props. Heather loves props too, and so do I. I don't use them very often, but I saw I got this little pencil sharpener, and I just feel like the Lord is sharpening you. I feel like you're in a season where the Lord is just sharpening you, and and just. And sharpening you for your next season, and he's 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 shaving off the edges and sharpening up that pencil, and and he's bringing color into your life as well, color into your life, and he's bringing all. And there were some times in your life where it was black and white, and the Lord is bringing in color, and some of that sharpening has to do with bringing color into your life in a greater way that you get in in a in a much greater way. And there's, you're going to start to see the colors are going to start to look brighter. They're going to start to, things are going to start to be greener. You're, 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 you're entering a time of freedom. I see freedom coming for you in a way that is even greater than what you are currently experiencing. And, and I just see light. And I see as you are searching out and you've been searching and you've been searching for these answers. And the Lord is like, yep, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. And He and He's answering you. And He's answering you deep in your core. And He's pulling out that that deep longing that's inside of you. And He's pulling it out and answering those questions that are deep inside. And I just will bless you with that. Yeah. And I just want to add to that because actually I had a word for you too, Mac. And I was <laughs> sorry, I get a lot of word plays. So I got a big Mac, you know, from McDonald's. <laughs> but then I got the word stack. And I just feel like, I just feel like really God wants to encourage you in this season that like, you know, unless of course you're a vegetarian or something and you don't do bread or meat, I guess in that case. But anyway, that'd be a terrible Big Mac. Anyway, forget that idea. But what I'm trying to say though, is I saw things stacking. Okay. So a Big Mac wouldn't be a Big Mac if you didn't have the bread and the cheese and the lettuce and then the, the meat and then bread and da, da, da. it's like a stack. And so I just want to encourage you, like each each component matters. So right now, I feel like you're in like a training season. It's like a training ground. So for a, like a season, you might be like in the bread season and then you're going to be in a lettuce season, you know, then you're going to be in a like meat season. But just know that the seasons don't always look the same. They very much can look very different. Um, but don't discount them and think, what's this happening? Why is that happening? Because God is stacking things so that eventually when you see the whole big picture, you're going to taste and see that the Lord is good. He has had a plan this whole time. So just know you can trust him in this training season. So blessings to you. Very cool. All right. Oh, and this was so cool. I just want to like, that is so encouraging. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> I can totally relate. How awesome is that? So awesome. Sorry, Jeff and Dan. I don't mean to cover your faces. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. And Jeff, you had something for someone. Not sure who yet. We're about to yeah, yeah. Me. So listen up, guys, because I've had this word right almost from the beginning. I'm not sure what name it's for, um, but it could be for a few people, actually. And what I saw was like a, a doctor or a nurse that was like bandaging people up. You know, they had cuts and scrapes and whatever, broken fingers and, and just bandaging people up. And what I saw was that at the end of it, removing of the bandage, and it was like your job just to do it. And it was like, yep, yeah, cool, remove the bandage, remove the cast. Yep, yeah, that's good. And it was almost like, okay, no problem. That's what I expected. I expected to see that because we've bandaged it. We've had the time to recover. The healing process has happened in the natural but for that person that's had that bandage removed, they was like, wow, how did that happen so quickly? And to them, that person, it was a huge event. 
and I, 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 that's what I'm feeling right now. So what you're doing in the natural almost feels like it's not important. And I'm telling you, it, it is important what you're doing in terms of helping people, even if you're not feeling it right now, is amazing. And I just felt that it was like, you, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, this is what I do. It's my role. No, it's not. It, 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 what you're doing is accelerating something that would, would take longer in the natural. There'd be infection. There'd be other issues. That would, so you're, you're stopping other issues from coming by protecting whatever that issue is, which is amazing to that person. And then I, and I see that person running around saying, look what's happened to me. And then other people coming saying, how did you do that? Give me them bandages. I want to learn what you do because I want to help people like you are. So I just want to encourage you that if you're not feeling it right now, trust me, you are having a massive impact to not just one individual, but others surrounding as well. And just be, you know, positive, encouraged that you, as you do it, other people are going to want to jump on board with you and help you. Because what you're doing is amazing. I'm telling you, whatever you're doing, you're a blessing. I don't know who this is for. I think this is multiple people. But in this time when there's a lot of discouragement, just feel it. Just feel it. Feel it. Thank mm. God. Thank God for what hasn't happened yet. Thank God for what has happened. But just expect, like, you know, as if it's happened already, just give thanks. We had someone in our team who had uh, parents who were suffering with COVID and we, people were praying, like, just, just give thanks for God that it's already happened. And it's like, that's mm. exactly it. Just mm. declaring that it's already happened and thank you, God, for it. Yeah. So good. Yes. And if that spoke to you, will you please comment so we know that be like, hey, that Jeff's word really encouraged me. I totally uh, take that. That'd be really awesome. Also, would you, I posted, oh, go ahead. What? No, go ahead. Heather. I think you're going there. Go ahead. I was going to say, in Alta, post, uh, we posted her testimony about Don't Drop Your Diamonds, which is an incredible faith healing testimony. So check that article out. It is just amazing. It's her true story of what God did in her life. So amazing. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Dan, what were you going to say? Well, I just want to part in the back of that is that um, that's a good to take the peace of God. And just I pray for that for COVID, just agreement. If anybody has anything, there's also a mental stress that can happen. Like you might have a stomach ache or, or you pull the muscle. You might think you have COVID. We just ask peace, yes. you know, peace, peace in this because there is exciting moments in God and, and being real peaceful is one of those variants that you need in the stability. We just stability and peace in the people around you that your words are powerful and they release what God wants. And we just say, mm -hmm. amen. I'm saying amen to your prayers. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Amen to the peace. Amen. It has enough. Like Holy Spirit fills the air in this room. It fills the air in your house, the people you care about, even the people that are not really nice to you for the promoting the gospel. Amen the peace of God in your home, your land, your country. I just say the peace healing in Jesus name. Agree with you in Jesus name. But mm -hmm. you would feel free and just release the anxieties right now because COVID, when you're stuck by yourself, one of the bad things is you stay by you, in your own head. You sometimes need to talk to someone or whatever. I'm just saying peace and all that. We cast down imaginations and we say peace, peace in Jesus name. Peace. You're going to be okay. And we mm -hmm. just pray that peace and the people let your house, your animals, everything be at peace in Jesus' name. We're healing in Jesus' name. Like we've seen with a friend in, in uh, we've been praying for. We prayed for her father and whatnot. We just declare that testimony of freedom and healing right now. The love of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, I, I'm getting uh, something in my ear, and I just want to release healing for ears. If anybody has... Uh, uh, deaf ear like one deaf ear i feel like there's somebody who has one deaf ear i just want to release healing upon that deaf ear right now and or maybe you know of somebody and and if you know somebody just put your hand on your ear and just agree with me so i just speak the healing love of christ upon your ear right now in the name of jesus and say be healed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus this was paid for on the cross it has been paid for on the cross and we agree with heaven and says that heaven wants this ear to be open in the name of Jesus. And we're going to make that right now in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Let us know if that's you. Let us know if there's any change at all. We would love to know. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We just agree with that. Yes and amen. 
Yes and amen. So good. And also, like Dan was praying about the amen, like Jesus already said yes. In the Bible, there's a scripture in Corinthians about the heaven has already said yes. We just have to agree with amen. So we say yes and amen on that now in Jesus' name. Very cool. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Dun, dun, dun. We have a list of names there. So I don't know if you guys are ready. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! Man, God oh, is in God. the house, man. Come on. Woo! Yes. yes. Definitely. He is here. Come on. Freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you More guys, glory, Lord. Sorry, I gotta share a little testimony if you don't Go mind. For it. <laughs> no. So the other day I was on a call and it was it, got, it was getting a little long, and and we kind of wrapped it up. And we had just been we were just there was about seven or eight of us, and we were just praying with one another and just sharing stories and talking and stuff. And I got up and I was so drunk in the Holy Spirit, like <laughs> that I, it was crazy. I couldn't even walk straight. I was like, what is happening? And the presence of the Lord was so strong. I just want you guys to invite the presence of the Lord, even, even now as you are in your room. And maybe you haven't experienced Zoom or 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 this type of uh, of uh, experience with with being online and with a computer, the presence of the Lord, he, he's not, he's not limited to, to time and space and he can, he can invade into any area. So I just, I just invite you to invite the presence of the Holy spirit into your split, into your space, right in front of the computer or, or whatever device you're on and just invite the presence of the Lord, get in a posture of receiving the presence of the Lord. And he wants to pour down his love and his life upon you right now in the name of Jesus. And we just release it right now, right through the screen and just receive the power of the Lord right through it right yes. now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Come on. That's so good. And he does. It's overpouring. It's overpouring. It's overpouring. It's there's so much. <laughs> That's oh awesome. Totally receive that. And Tanil, welcome from South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. What a powerful time to join. <laughs> <laughs> that may be it. That might be it. <laughs> and you know what, friends who are watching right now, listen, like, look, I'm in Asia. She's in South Africa, Canada. We got UK, we've got America, we're all around the world right now. We are experiencing the glory of God. So wherever you are in this globe, beautiful globe, you can experience it too. So we just release that over you in Jesus' name. Come on. Woo, thank you, Jesus. All right, so Dan has a word for Simon, Glenda's husband. Yay. Hey, uh, Glenda, uh, this is for Simon. I saw a bike and uh, I saw pies. So like simple side the pieman there's a, there's a Simon there's a pie but I heard he's carrying pies and I saw the structure of the bike the bar that kind of rolls up to the front the bottom bar there's not just a top bar but this bar and I feel like there's been um, wisdom that's meeting in his life that there that there's a framework there's a framework and it's coming together and it's there and he's carrying these pies and this can sound like a weird analogy but even uh, there's a there's a band in the sixties or the at the start of the 60s, 50, but the Beatles, Ringo said he saw a burning pie. But in this sense, you're serving, he's serving something with the world and where he's traveling in, in, a, in a righteous, right way, like worship to God. But he he is carrying pies that are carrying them to the neighborhoods. And I feel like these, he's carrying this um, sweet um, dessert or a time of rest for people in where he's going, in the framework where he is going to and where he likes to ride and journey that where he is engaged and he feels relief and, and and that sort of thing that i feel like he is talking to people and and he is serving up uh a, a, a restoration to other people right he is serving restoration and he just enjoys their company and i feel like god's sunlight is on that like in a picnic table where there's a picnic table he just enjoys hanging out with people and that is a grace of god like well there's a healing yes 
but just the hanging out is glorious. That is a value and it's stable because once you're healed, you have the rest of your life. And I feel like Simon is helping people enjoy the rest of their life. Like know the Lord in the rest of your life, have peace in the rest of your life. And I feel like he's in a picnic where people are just like having a moment and they're lost in that moment with what he's sharing that God has given them. Um, he carries what what God has given them and they take it in and it just gives them a moment to ponder uh, what what he's saying, what he's thinking. And it's not rude. It's kind. I feel like it's very kind. What Simon shares, this pie is like something very kind that he that he gives. And when he speaks it, people listen and I feel it's for their betterment. So we bless you, Simon. And uh, I'm glad uh, Miss Glenda's here. Bless you, Glenda. You, you, you're also, I'm going to prophesy over you and just go straight into that because you're there. So I'm going to get both of you at once. And I just look a vase and I saw the flowers and it was gold, but the potter's touch had molded in your life. And God's signature is in your, in his creation in you. You're a creative example of what God wants to do on the earth. You are who he created you to be and, and you are sharing like, so you put flowers in there, releasing an aroma of Christ, Glenda. So bless you. And in what you're doing, that just feel like the grace of God, his fingers are molding that pottery. Like you can see the lines and these lines are like scripture made word and the word formed the very life of divinity and flesh is in your DNA that Christ himself is speaking through you. Like Christ on earth said, I will be in you, you know, the Holy Spirit that he is speaking in your humanity and, and your concern and your compassion you have such a gentle and kind spirit and you're so caring for others. And I really feel that that sort of logo is, can you say that? And like, yes, yes, God is with us and he, and he has the saints on earth. And Linda, I really feel that you carry that, carry that saint. Did you bring that praise to God? But you have that gentle touch of the Holy Spirit. Did you have those comforting, strong, gentle words that really comfort people in this hour? So bless you, Linda. Awesome. She certainly does. That's for sure. <laughs> awesome. All right. So let's see. I have a word here for Matthias. Here we go. I think I'm hope I'm saying your name right. Ooh. Matthias. Um, so I saw a combination of a couple pictures. I saw a guitar being tuned. And then I saw you walking in the forest with this tuning guitar. And I just feel like I don't know. I feel like you're kind of maybe in like a bit of an Abraham season where you're not really sure where God is calling you next or where you're supposed to go or be. But I feel like the father is just inviting you to look up to the sun, uh, just to look up and just enjoy the warmth of the sunshine right now. Um, to be honest, I'm kind of in my own fun little situation right now here in Malaysia. Um, I'm technically legally illegal <laughs> for the time being, which lots of us are. Um, but the thing is, I've st I like a couple months ago, I was praying and asking God, what's next? What, you know, what's the timeline? And he was like, yeah, I'm not going to like four times in one day. He was like, I'm not going to tell you. I just need you to trust me. So I was kind of like, okay, fine. I just knew though. The one thing you did tell me is that I was going to be really happy. So, and so far so good. I am very happy. So anyway, but all this to say though, that I feel like the Lord is just saying right now, you might seem like you're in this forest of like unknownness, but I feel like the father is just saying, look up to the sun, enjoy the warmth of the sunshine, just enjoy the moment because when the time comes, he's going to show you where to go. Okay. And then it's going to be go time. It's going to be, you got to get ready. And that's actually what I feel like the second part of that word is the guitar that's tuning because I feel like right now, this is the time in this hidden season to tune up your skills, tune up whatever it is you're good at. Like, I don't know if you're an artist or a musician or I don't know what you're good at or what you do, but tune those things up or even just spend time in the word with the Lord. Get those things so deep, like dig that well so deep. I don't know if you're from Bethel or uh, or what, but <laughs> anyway, um, I just feel like the Lord is saying like right now, just dig this well so deep with me and enjoy this season. Um, and then when the time comes, the scene, the scene will shift and you'll know exactly where you're supposed to go and where you're supposed to be. Like you will come out of the tunnel, so to speak. You will come out of the forest and see, get your bearings again. But right now it's a hidden season and enjoy that with the Lord because it really is a season of sonship. So blessings to you. All right. And let's see. I think we have the Tony. We're going to do one for Tony quickly, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, I just, Tony Francis, um, 
Uh, we believe you're from Lebanon. I just want to speak blessing over your nation, first of all, and speak blessing and peace to you and over the nation of Lebanon and speak peace over the situations. We speak healing, we speak restoration, we speak we speak the, the sounds of heaven to fall down upon Lebanon right in the name of Jesus. We release the peace of heaven upon that nation. We release the peace of heaven upon the nation of Lebanon right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Lebanon, Lord. We thank you for what it means to this world. We thank you for the power of God that has been exhibited in that nation for centuries, Lord. And we call it back forth. We call it back forth, Lord. We call it back to be established again, to be that nation that is a is a, is a place of peace for the rest of the world, Lord. We release that upon that nation, Father. And Tony, I just want to release, I just release that to you as, as someone who was in that country but i also i i right when i saw your name i i saw that you're a risk taker and i just and i just want to bless you with with uh, even more risk and i feel like the lord is going to to uh bless your risk taking and so i just released that to you in the name of jesus awesome yeah we just speak over lemon lebanon oh my goodness lebanon right now we just speak shalom and peace lord i pray that you will just let hope arise in the midst of all that's going on in that place right now, God. And I just pray for uh, just the people that, that love you, Jesus, that they will just have a real sense of your closeness in this season, Lord. And we just pray for supernatural miracles of things being restored and even lives. If there are people that are still in ICU that are injured, we just speak life to you right now. We just bind the spirit of death. No more death. We speak that over the people in Lebanon right now. We speak life, life, life over everyone that is still healing from that traumatic experience, Lord. We just speak life over it, Lord. And we just ask for just like um, that the churches and all those people will have what they need to raise up in resources, Lord, that you will just supply the bread supernaturally, God, that you will just re re reproduce all that you have more, more, more. Um, you've done it so many times. You're going to do it again. So we thank you. We just speak blessing over Lebanon in Jesus' name. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Oh, really quick, back to this. That is so cool. We bless you on your third year at BSSM. Thank you, Jesus. We just pray it's going to be an amazing time of just, um, just enjoy the sonship season with the Lord. You don't have to know where you're going. I know a lot of people, especially third year, gets a little scary. But don't focus on that. Just enjoy the time in the forest with the Father. He is tuning you up in this season. Dig your own well deep with him and enjoy every single moment of it. Just enjoy. Don't worry about the future. Enjoy what he's put before you today. All right. Blessings to you. That's so exciting. Come on. <laughs> <That's>, oh. <laughs> so Thank you, Jesus. All right. Tanil. Ready, set, go. Hello. Um, I actually, I see um, uh, Karen Spicer just commented, I see God shining light over Lebanon and its people. And I saw I saw that same picture um, when we were playing for Lebanon just now. I saw just I saw um, the city, and I just saw the beautiful gold cloud and this gold light coming down onto Lebanon. So blessings and blessings and blessings. Um, I heard for um, Janice uh, Marino. Marino. Yeah, Janice Mazzini. Huh? Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to find the name. Go ahead. Oh, oh I, I um when I saw your name, I saw uh, a basketball hoop and a, a a basketball going in the the basket, and I think it, it takes so much skill for like um, NBA players to to shoot into the basket and to get it in the, 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 the basket. So I think um, there's something that's been uh, like taking your, your, your time or it, you, you, you feel like maybe it's, it's taking you away from God, but you, you're throwing it, it's like you're hitting the nail on the head. You're throwing the ball into the basket and you're doing exactly what um, you're supposed to be doing. And uh, funny enough, one of my friends has been, she's been seeing triple numbers almost everywhere. And I think that's something that's, that, um, that you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing triple numbers. <laughs> you'll be seeing, um, and I mean, all of them, they've got different, <laughs> different meanings. And 
is one. I'm not sure which number it is actually, but which one? <laughs> there which we one? go. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, tell me what it's about. I'll tell you what number it is. Uh, it, it, it means that um, you're going, you're going the right way. Like you, you're on the right path. I think it's either five or eight. Okay. Well, this is five. Five usually means grace. Five usually means grace. And then eight is usually new beginnings, but there can be many, many meanings. Yeah. Um, when you said that you're going on the right path, it actually made me think of, hold on. It is oh, right for addiction. <laughs> like you're going in the right direction. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. So you're going in the right direction. Don't, 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 don't feel you you like um swaying off the path. You are on the path you're supposed to be on, and you're doing it with such pizzazz. So just more, more, more blessings of things to come, and you being on the right path, even if people or even in your mind, if you don't feel like you're on the right path, God knows that you're on the right path and he has set you on that path. So just just keep thanking him and just like, yeah, just keep praising him. Can I add on to that? That's so good, yeah. Janet, Janice. Um, I am a friend of God. Um, one of the, the first word that uh, I gave was for a uh, uh, sister, and I realized that these words are given to friends of God. And a lot of times the prophets get words in the Old Testament because they're friends of God. You know, when someone's new to the faith, come come follow me, I'll be a fisherman. But when they're friends, and he's like, I want to share my plans with you. I want to mm -hmm. share what you're doing. And then the disciples grow into that friendship. He calls them friends and he talks to them like friends. I just said, Janice, you're a friend of God. Even like he, he's here, he's a friend of the people here. If Sponsi's sister's still here, that directional word is he's a friend of God. I, mean, I just think I just feel like they're friends of God here. Janice, you are a friend of God. So and when you're sharing that perspective, it looks a little different when you're teaching the class. I mean, you're just sitting in the in, behind a desk taking a test. And I feel you're doing very well. You're a friend of God. So you're doing things with him. He's sharing with you. He loves sharing what you have to share. You, you're valuable. And I just really agree with uh, Tanil's word. Bless you. Awesome. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Very cool. All right. Jeff, I keep thinking you're ready to give out a word. Are you ready? No, I'm just getting names from everywhere. Sorry. Go on. I know. I love it. I'm like, Jeff is where? Oh, wait. He's just ready. No, no. I'm just busy admin in. Maybe I should go backstage. No. You're f I mean, whatever you want to do. It's fine. No, no. I'm good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Cool. All right. Um, all right. So team. Okay. Peter, go ahead. Are you on mute again? You're sorry. I, my doorbell was ringing. I had, I had to go check the door real quick. Sorry about that. Hey, at least you did this. Sorry. Sorry. This is chill. We're chill. <laughs> yeah. Radiance. Radiance Rhea. If, um, I, if, I don't know if it's Rhea Radiance or Radiance Rhea, but I, to me, it, it I'm crisscrossing them. And your name is so beautiful. Like, I just want to like comment on your name. And whenever somebody's name sticks out to me and jump and they're, they're the, the, the beauty of the name, I, I, I pause for a second because it, it, it speaks to me. And when I hear that word radiance, I think of what Christ has done inside of, of, of not only me, but others around me. And so I want to bless what, what Christ has done in your life and, and the radiance that you show. And I see that radiance that because that's your name, that's what you become. That's who you are. You are, you, you're called that. You're called radiance. And so it literally illuminates from you. It just like it's like this little force field around you that just you carry all the way around with you everywhere. And and um, and I just and I see that on you. And I also see that radiance actually elevates you up, up the 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 snake line that 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 proverbial snake line where and, the, and there's in on the mountains. There's a there's a certain place where snakes can't live. 
because it's too cold. And I just see that that your radiance actually allows you to get above that line. And where Christ has, has established you on high, where you're able to look down and you're able to peer down upon upon things and you have a high vision like you see down on things and not like looking down on people or situations but Christ has given you the ability to see high up and look around and see see the big picture a lot I see you have the the, the ability to see a lot around you and a lot of the big picture and so I, I just feel like there's there's prophecy in you. I feel like you, you have things to to speak to uh, to situations from the from being able to see far and see around you that you have the ability to speak into to uh, difficult situations and speak life and speak love and speak the life of Christ that lives in you to those difficult situations. And I just want to speak that to you and and, and call forth the the greater more that that you've been calling for and the more of Christ in you, and I and I just want to release uh, uh, a, a word of uh, encouragement, but also a word of like um, a calling, that calling of of the greater for you to call out situations uh, of of peace, and where you can call that out in people, and where you can call peace. And I just want, and I just feel like that's like that's going to increase, and and I speak increase upon that in your in in Jesus' name. Mm. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. That's amazing. Very cool. All right, Jeff, your word for Lori. Hi, Lori. Great go to see you on here. Go, Tanil. Tanil, go now. Go, go, go. Uh, thanks, no, thanks, no, Sorry. Um, I yeah. didn't see it. Go for it. <laughs> um, Radiance, Ria, I'm actually, I actually looked at your, 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 um, your profile picture, and it's it stood out to me, the fiery heart. And then I read it, and it said, beautiful eyes of fire. And it just, it just, um, it just matches with that word because there's, there's this fiery passion inside of you, and it's, it's, it's ready, it's ready to, do like, <laughs> it's ready to burn, it's ready to do the thing it was meant to do. So um, I'm just gonna speak that word of, um, um, what do you call it when something must happen? Now <laughs> my vocab is gone. Um, it's like um, it's for the, the coming in to, to <laughs> the coming into to where you're supposed to be. It's like you're walking through a door right now. Transitioning? No. Transitioning? No. <laughs> what is it coming, in Afrikaans? Coming into so something the first time. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's like it's like it's like it's like a new beginning almost. It's this. It's it's this. Uh, next Say again? Rebirth? Like rebirth? Not exactly a rebirth, but that's closer. <laughs> but you're in this, you're in, you're in this place where you're walking into a place you've never been at before, but it's something you know. So you've never been there, but it's something you know how to do. It's it's like where our passion lies. Our passions, we know it's the thing that we want to do, but we still have to learn how to do that thing sometimes. But alignment. You are, Yes. Alignment. To You're in alignment. Sidiso. Sidiso got it. Go Sidiso. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you are in alignment. You are like right. You are like at this, you know, going. You are there. Things are like happening. <laughs> Sponsor is the best. But Radiance Ria, like, there is, there is, like, don't worry about, like, um, the times. The time is now kind of a thing. It, it's all happening. <laughs> That's so great! I love it. It was that was big team effort. I mean, I wasn't a part of that. But <laughs> that's so great! I love it. I love it. All right. So, um, Jeff has a word for Lori, right? Yes. On top, just need to paste something. There we go. Bang. Right. Um, have you got her name on the screen, Lori? I do now. Right. I know it's going to sound really cheesy, but what I saw was a lorry going which is okay, exactly wait. we're so american I, we're american what right? is a lorry <laughs> a truck a great it's a, truck. Truck. A it's great a big, big semi truck it's yeah, a semi so not, truck right yeah. okay right. sorry so, translation i saw a truck going which is exactly what it does yeah and i'm really sorry that that's messing around with your name but that's what i saw i was like right 
And I was like, what does that mean? And I just felt you carry something that is so important of him that needs to be delivered. And I was like, wow, you are so this person that carries other people's whatever it is, either issues or resources to deal with those issues. And I just felt you're just gonna you're in it for the long haul, but you're just going and you're going. And that's exactly what you've got. A great big front cab, something to sleep in, something to rest in, a fridge, a TV, everything you need, you're okay. That's not a problem. You don't need to worry what you worry about what you're carrying or even the load. Because what I saw was even when you think, why do I need to do this? Why am I carrying this weight? This is too much. I just saw everyone around you that needed to was servicing your engine, upgrading your turbo, changing the gearbox from a manual to an automatic gearbox. And then it was like, wow, I'm, I'm flying now. Okay. And the more the load went on, you're thinking, oh, my days. And I just saw this new sort of axle being added. So you can actually, when you're ready to deal with that weight, it won't crush you. It won't stop you. It won't hurt you. It will add another axle. You'll end up with new wheels. It will be in like a 12-wheeler, a 14-wheeler, a 16-wheeler, and it just keeps getting added and extended onto. Um, and I just saw other lorries coming alongside you, trucks, sorry, trucks coming alongside you, and you're almost starting like a convoy. You know, this whole taking over this whole motorway if you call to call it a motorway yeah that, we, we understand that, that was, that was you, close you, enough. you're taking over the whole road and you're all just blocking this pathway no one can get around you no one can get past you you're controlling the momentum you're controlling the speed you've actually taken over that road you know exactly where you're going and you're on the right path that's what i saw for you so, Lori, uh, I hope that made sense to you, not because of English. <laughs> and I actually forgot, Lori and her husband lived in Germany for three years, so she might know the word Lori, but I wasn't sure. So right. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure you know, And in Germany, in the Autobahn, there's Autobahns where there's, they're limitless in terms of speed. They can go flat out. Yeah. yeah the metal. Don't worry about that. Just keep going straight, flat out. Godspeed, not limitations of what? people place on you go for it Good. yeah awesome oh and here's a little more as well from monique so cool she said i just see the wind from the load you're traveling from the truck pulling in people alongside you as well so helping others along the way so that's so cool and Lori is such a helper she's such a giver she's amazing she's amazing in so many ways so Lori, we bless you um I hope that made sense to you. If anything didn't, just let me know. And yay, cool. Oh, awesome. And <laughs> she misses out. <laughs> <all. laughs> Every country does. <laughs> oh, cool. So great to see you on here, Lori. That's awesome. And tell Kyle, he is like the amazing, most amazing photographer as well. So just say hello to Kyle for us as well. So cool. All right. And did you guys have, sorry, I didn't see. Oh, Camille, you have a word. Yes. Maybe. Camille? What? Oh, it was me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Um, I think I, I think it's Marie Ann or, or Mary Ann. Yes, it Mary Ann. I'm trying to go yeah. back to find it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is this is this might sound a little strange, but um, when I saw your name, I read out Marie Annabus, and it sounds a lot like cannabis. And um, that it just stood out so much to me. I was thinking about you know the effects of cannabis, and when 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 you <laughs> but like when when like the effects of cannabis is like becoming high, right? And it's like your 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 mind, um, like uh, what's the word? It loses it loses a bit of sense, and it. Oh, it loses you lose a bit of sense and um you sort of go into like a child like mindset because you're not really worried about anything else so i feel like god is saying that you are that you are that you know person who, who is not worried 
um, about you know the stresses of life, and that's such a good thing to do um, because when 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 um, life gets difficult or like what's happening around the world now with the whole um, COVID situation, when things become um, upsetting and stuff. It's, it's difficult to keep calm. It's difficult to have a positive outlook on life. And I think what God is saying is that you are that person that always has that positive outlook. You're always looking from a higher place. And um, you're looking from where God is, like in the clouds. People will normally say like the different like ways of saying that the person is high. As actually, if you think about it, in in godly terms it's being elevated it's being um higher above high above the clouds seeing from different perspectives and i think that's who you are you're the person who's always able to 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 get out of a sticky situation and look at it from a different point of view and be able to 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 go forward from there so um also what i'm seeing now is like um i know you guys call it a sharpie um like a cokey pen <laughs> I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm, sharpie, sharpie. yeah a like a sharpie. Marker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing like a sharpie on those. You know those boards. Um, I know you, Heather. You has, used to have them in. Yes. Um, <laughs> <That one. laughs> a whiteboard pen. Classes where you had these boards of like um, paper, almost like an exam pad, and um, I see writing on. And these things are usually for for like. Um, projects when you when you need to plan things so it's it seems that you're in a place of planning where you you jotting down ideas and different strategies and different ways to do things and i feel like what god is saying is keep on doing that because uh, a lot of the times we want things to just come to us and just like happen upon us but sometimes we also need to plan for the things that we are going to get because you've been playing for something, you've been praying um, for for um, God to come through with finances, or you've been praying for a uh, 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 resolution with your car payments, and God is making a way because you've been planning. You know that it is going to come through for you, but it's not bad to plan while you're there because when you have all the things that you're going to have, there's going to be there's going to be so much of what you have that you're going to need to plan to do other things <laughs> because you have you're going to be you're going to do everything you need to do and then there's going to be left over it's like you're going to have that um overrunning cup so the the planning is for the overflow because there's so 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 much coming to you and coming to you like soon awesome man check this out uh, there's a couple more words for you there from Monique. I see the word kingdom knowledge over you. Very cool. Also, way to go, Abby, as well. Uh, felt the gift of intercessor over you, but to intercede from a heaven's perspective. Yes, which Eli also said here about the third heaven. Yes, exactly. Um, but to intercede from heaven's perspective, your prayers are so powerful. I feel like the, uh, the nations, they are nation-shifting prayers. So come on. That is awesome. Praise the Lord. Yes. Wow. All right. Dan, you have a word for Alta? Yes, Alta. If you're still here, Alta Smith. Um, I saw a cornfield and there was the sunlight was coming out. It was really bright. Like the sun, like it was, the corn stalks were uh, six, seven feet tall and they were leaning over from the edge of the field. And uh, I feel like you've been gathering with uh, the, like, uh, people like mothers and fathers of the story of Ruth, you know, they, they used to catch the corn on the edge of the field that was left for the people after they harvest. And I feel like there's a harvest you're pulling in and you're helping feed other people. And I feel like the path in front of you is, a, is hopeful. It's his peace. It's his presence. It's his radiance, just like filling the sky is the sunlight on this cornfield. And, and the harvest is good things to come. Uh, to meet someone else or to make connections to help other people reach their promises, or they might be things coming to pass or both. I think they're both for you and there's a harvest coming, but you have gathered well, or you are gathering well. And that on the edge of this field where the corn, you're helping the people 
that have been displaced to find a home and, and partake in the community to have a place of security. But you're also helping those that have continued on because Ruth, her mom wasn't just a, or who, who she called mom. But that lady had lived has lived a full life in that life. You were actually helping people that are staying consistent as well. And that is a value. I know that when someone gets saved, it's so important. But it's also very important to honor those that have been quietly serving for 30, 40 years. And to they don't look like anything to the world, but they mean so much to God that he has as much love and affection for someone doing that than standing on stage. Like standing on stage doesn't generate more love. God loves you and you carry that love that helps people harvest. And I feel like you're part of this harvest and there's a path of hope in front of you that God is showing you and revealing this harvest with him of what he's doing right now in your life on the earth with you and your friends and your community and the people you're helping solve issues with. And you're doing a very good job resolving things just to be encouraged that you can handle difficult situations. I hear that's an encouraging word. You can handle difficult situations. I don't know if you feel that way, but I really feel that you are a comforting person like Ruth in the Bible. And I really just see that field open, full of hope. There's hope and promise for you and that God's peace is surrounding you. And I just feel like you really carry compassion well. All right, that sounds very cool. Alt is amazing. So I know she's gonna love that. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Peter, ready, ready, ready? Yes, Abby. Uh, I don't know your last name, um, but I, uh, oh, Ab Abigail Smith. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's Abigail. Okay. Well, um, I keep seeing the, uh, we have the little, uh, the, the, the heartbeat thing on our, uh, on the graphic here. And I, it was just really jumping out at me as, as your name popped up. And, and I just feel like you hear the heartbeat of the Lord. You're very close to the heart of the Lord and you can literally hear his heartbeat. I actually feel like you literally heard his heartbeat and in his heartbeat, you're actually hearing like, what he has not only for you but for others like you can literally hear it. it's like this like this gurunk. and it's like with that there's like this wave of the wave of the lord's heart like comes over you and, and you can hear it and, and i feel like that's going to increase and there's going to be more of that coming into your life and i just want to release that upon you and i release a blessing of love and an increase of love and an increased father's heart around you and and in you and through you and i speak blessing on your life and tons and tons more of all that god has for you in the name of jesus yes and abby i just want to pray over you as well real quick like i know you're in a lot of transition right now because <laughs> she actually just finished third year and i believe you're still in america right because the whole flight situation so we just believe that this is a real season of bliss. I actually hear the word bliss. So go look up the word bliss and its definition. But I feel like God wants you to know it's just going to be a blissful season with him. And I feel like, I just feel like even to do the prophetic act just over you, just to wipe off any kind of like, um, just worry or concern, like anything like that, like, you know, about finances or just anything, anything, just even the visa situation, just wipe it off because your daddy, he's got you, he's got you safely in the palm of his hand. And even when I was actually in Felda Brennan in Wales, the Lord spoke to me and said, are you willing to trust me around blind corners? And I know that that's scary, but at the same time, God knows what's around the corner, even when we don't. And so I feel like the father's just saying, rest back in my arms, baby girl, I got you. So blessings to you, Abby. I'll do a little part two. I just want to release breakthrough, Abby. I just speak release. I release heaven upon you. I speak release to the situations that you need release in right now. We speak release right now in the name of Jesus. This right situation. I speak release for the finances for you to go and to do what you need to do. I pray on God. I ask God for you to come, Father, and to release that, what she needs right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to her situation and I speak love and release. We speak release right now in the name of Jesus over mm -hmm. Abigail and over her situation around her. I speak a release around her. I speak that release around her, just mm -hmm. around her, Lord, around her. There's something about a being around you. There's there's mm -hmm. a release that needs to be released around you. It's not just it's not just in front of you. It's to your side. I feel like you're supposed to look to one side 
you're supposed to tr like transition over to one side, and I feel like the release is coming onto one side, and I I keep going to my right. So just maybe look to your right a little bit and, and see if that means anything. But I just speak a release. I speak a release over that right now in the name of Jesus. Ooh, so much power on that. I felt that one. <laughs> Seriously, thank you, Jesus. Come on. Anyone that needed that breakthrough in their life, take it for yourself right now. God has got a multiplication. He is multiplying that word. I felt like that was definitely for Abby, but anyone else, just take it if you need it. And here's another one for you, Abby. So check that out. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome radiance. I love it when people practice. In fact, dun, 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 we're going to practice right now. So, nothing like that lead in, right? Um, so we, we are going to, oh, and you guys will have to check out this awesome testimony. Sorry, I can't even see Dan and Janelle. So you guys will have to check that out later. Um, there's another word. Abby, check it out. You guys, do check out. You might find more words for you on the chat. And you guys are doing amazing at uh, writing those for other people. It's so incredible. Here's another one for you, Abby. Check it out. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Anyway. Um, all right. So we are going to do an activation now, which is seriously one of my favorite parts of every time we do these, because we are going to practice hearing from the Lord right now, okay? So obviously you guys know we try to give as many words as we can, but please know we might not get to everybody. We're so sorry about that. But right now you can all give yourself a word because Holy Spirit is going to talk to you right now. So if that's the word you get, that's the word the Lord had for you tonight, okay? But we're going to keep trying. to. We're going to give a few more after this. But really quick, before I do that, I do want to make an announcement, two announcements, okay? Um, the first one is tomorrow okay i love that like annie tomorrow tomorrow okay i know sorry um i'm all good for that but tomorrow we have this amazing workshop yes okay i'm like cheering yes like miles here on youtube yes come on i'm gonna be there like a lot of us are gonna be there it's gonna be so much fun like Guys, like, it's going to be blowing your mind kind of fun, like, in a good way. Like, I was talking with Lee the other day as we were kind of sort of planning this. And, I mean, because we also leave a lot of spontaneity for the Holy Spirit to do what he wants to do. So that's the best way because it's his party. But literally, I had written him something, and he writes back, and he's like, I'm feeling electricity all over my skin. So, you guys, this is going to be such a powerful, exciting time with the Holy Spirit it's going to be amazing. You're going to practice by giving words to other people, getting words from other people. It's going to be a global event. We have people coming from literally all different parts of the earth. So come, come, come. It's, it is two and a half hours, but if you can only make an hour or something, that's totally fine. Just come in, jump on the Zoom call. Um, I'm going to put the, actually, I'm going to do that right now. I think Hold on, let me see if I can post the Zoom information. Hold on, I think I have it. Yay, there it is. Check it out. So in the chat, I just posted the Zoom information. So all you need is either to click on that link or save the meeting password and ID. And you just need those to get into the Zoom. And it'll bring you right into the training for tomorrow night. Check out your time zones because it's like a lot of them. So I don't know where you live. So check out your own time zone. We would love, love, love to see you. Invite your friends. If anyone else you know is hungry to hear the Holy Spirit, join us, guys. It is going to be amazing. So, 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 so excited about that. All right. And there's one more announcement. Hold on a second. I got to find it. I did get it ready, but maybe not so ready as I thought. Hold on a second here. <laughs> Let me find it. I thought I just had it. Hold on one second. One more thing. Download. Oh, oh no, I don't know where it is. Um, hold on a second. Well, uh, okay, let me see if I can find that in a minute, okay? I'll come back to it. All right, so, uh, also, Abigail, that is so awesome. Check that out, praise the Lord. It's so amazing. Oh, wait, I know what I can maybe do to share this right now, because I really do want to share this right now. Um, here it is. Hold on. Let's see if I can share this somehow. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Technical funness. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, 
Yes, I'm really trying. Okay, let's see if that worked. Let's see if I can do this. Sorry, let me give it one more go. Application window. Okay, this is going to be a weird share, but you'll get the point. Okay, sorry, this is a little bit weird. Hold on a second. That is amazing, Abby, by the way. So I know this is, sorry, <laughs> a little bit odd. But look, if you look at see Think Outside the Box, that's Peter. See Peter right here. And so he is... He has done an emerging profits course, okay? And in order for him to finish his course, they, they have to like kind of do their whatever, whatever you want to call that, passing the course. So you have to do, they have to do six consultations, okay? And there really is something very biblical about the principle about what you uh, sow, you will reap, okay? So we do a lot of free things here, but on occasion, it is also good to sow, which by the way, those of you that have sowed into this ministry, thank you so much. It is really helped us to expand. So thank you, thank you, thank you, like big thanks. But here's an opportunity, another really awesome opportunity. Peter is, an, as you can tell, he's been giving amazing words. Okay, so look, you can reserve a prophetic consultation for $25 for 30 minutes with Peter. And you guys, it's gonna rock your world. You've already done a couple, right, Peter? Yep. Yeah, how'd they go? That's awesome. It's it's really cool. It's so it, just to give a quick little thing, it, it's all about breakthrough and, and we really key in on breakthrough. And and what area is, is, is a real specific thing that you're looking for? And, and 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 I'm able to ask you some questions and really dig a little bit deeper than just than just a prophetic word. And and, and some and some prophetic word does happen, but it, it's more of a it's more of a uh, it's more of a talk. A prophetic talk, so to speak, where I ask questions, and it's it's very enlightening. It's very awesome. I've had them done on me, as well, and it's just so it's so wonderful. It's really freeing. So if you're interested, just send me an email, or yeah. or you can if you're friends with me, just private message me in Facebook. That that works. Yeah, too. or even tag him on Facebook. Yeah, private message him. Uh, you can tag him in a comment. Say, hey, Peter, Isis, I'm interested. Okay, so he will hopefully see that <laughs> or message him. It's probably the best way. Um, but, and there's his email there and I will post this when we're finished with the live feed. Okay. So it will be on there for you to check out, but I just want to share that amazing opportunity because it is amazing. And one more thing before we do the activation, I actually want to speak over, um, uh, best in John here. He has a board exam tomorrow. It looks like, sorry, I'm struggling to find it, but we just 20, speak to that board exam. Bonus. What's that? 27th of August. Oh, it's the 27th of August. Okay, so it's still a couple weeks away. Praise God. But we just pray for the studying. I'm sorry, I can't find the picture. But anyway, we just pray for you, Bestin John. We just speak over that, that the angels, Holy Spirit, he has all the answers, that he's going to help you. We just pray in the next couple weeks that God will equip you and all of the learning and everything that you need to retain for that exam and that you will do better than expected. We just release that because again, heaven has all the answers and heaven is in you. So we thank you, Jesus. It's gonna be better than you expected in Jesus name. Awesome. All right, and Abby, that is still so cool. I'm just like, thank you, Jesus. The fire of God is amazing. Come on. All right, guys, here's our activation today. So I want you to ask Holy Spirit right now, I want you to ask Holy Spirit, okay, this was really funny, but I literally was like, what is an item in the bathroom? <laughs> okay, that's what I was getting earlier today. So I want you to ask Holy Spirit, I know that seems kind of funny, but guys, God can even speak to you in your bathroom or your toilet or your WC or whatever you call it, okay? Um, but ask Holy Spirit, and in the comments, I want you to write, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Say, ask the question, say, Holy Spirit, what is an item for my bathroom? What are you saying to me? So number one, Holy Spirit, show me one item from the bathroom. I know that might sound really very American, but it's okay. All right. Oh, look at that, Peter. Oh, oh Jeff. Sorry. Thank you, Jeff. That's so cool. Look at that. He's so on top of it. Go, Jeff. All right. So ask Holy Spirit, what's one item from the bathroom? Okay. The first thing I got was mirror. Daniel, what did you get? A, a toilet plunger. A plunger. <laughs> uh -huh. Dan, what did you get? <laughs> oh, good. Dan? Uh, toothbrush. toothbrush. Okay. Look at this. Oops. Oops. Crazy Miles. He also got tooth. Oh, sorry. He also got toothbrush. Cool. Yes. Write it in the comments what you got. Jeff, what did you get? I got a toothbrush too. Oh, Peter? Razor. 
Okay, it's like, are we two for three? <laughs> awesome, cool, very good. We got toothbrush popping up, towel, shower gel. What else? What else? If you're not sure, to be honest, ask Holy Spirit. Wait a moment. If you hear something or you feel something, sense it, see it, whatever, write that down. But if you still aren't sure, just pick something. It's okay. Pick something. Holy Spirit will speak to you about that. So write that in the comments. All right. Okay. Now, our quest, second question, Jeff, thank you so much, is um, I want you to ask Holy Spirit, what is its primary use? How do you use it? How do you use it? So what is the primary use? How do you use it in Jesus' name? Yes, <laughs> for your bathroom item. <laughs> Oh, this is good. You guys are doing great. Oh, Mama Fishy, hello. And I'm so sorry. You can't hear me. You lost your sound. I'm sorry. Jesus, heal her sound. All right, we're getting face wash, face wash, lighthouse souvenir. So now I want you to write the second thing. So the first one is Holy Spirit, what is it? The second thing is what is its primary use? And it might be a verb or an adjective. Okay, so for me, I got the word look. So I have mirror and look. So in the comments, you're going to write mirror and look. Tineo, what did you get? Uh, plunger and clog. <laughs> Unclog. Good, man. Mm, toothbrush and teeth. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> Clean your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Peter? Cut. To cut. Cut. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, I want you to ask Holy Spirit. Hold on, let me ask what he wants to say really quick. What's the second thing? Third thing, Holy Spirit. I want you, okay, so ask Holy Spirit. The third thing I want you to ask Holy Spirit is what, how would Holy Spirit describe it if it's as a material item? You know, like what is it, it's, uh, what is it made from? So ask Holy Spirit, what is it made from? What's the word he would use? What is it made from? Okay. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Yes. All right. Write all three. So for me, okay, let's see. I get mirror is my first one. Second thing is to look. The third thing I got like, like, I don't know what a mirror is made of, but it's like, I see like a rock, you know, like some kind of like mineral basically. Mm. So Neil, what did you get? Um, so mine was plunger, unclogs, and the third thing is rubber. Rubber. Okay. Dan, what did, the, yeah, right, the rubber part, right. See, it could have been wood, but you got rubber. Okay. <laughs> Dan, what did you get? Toothbrush, tea, Colgate, or toothpaste. Or... Nice. Okay. And uh, Peter, um, Jeff? Jeff? I got toothbrush, cleaning teeth, and it's made from plastic. Okay. And Peter? So I have razor that cuts, and it's, it's gold. Okay. Okay. Great. Now, okay. This might sound a little weird. Okay. But I promise it's not, but we're just going to go out there. Right now, if you were to help someone by using this, I want you to ask Jesus, how can I use this? What you've told me so far to help someone else. So how could I use it to help someone else? Take all three of those things. Jesus, what are you saying? How can this thing be used to help someone else? That's the fourth question. So if you're just joining us, first question, ask Holy Spirit, what is an item from your bathroom? Okay, because seriously, that's what God showed me today. So, hey, we're going with it. The <laughs> second question is ask Holy Spirit, what's its primary use? Okay, because you know what? I'll tell you why. Jesus can speak to you while you're in the bathroom. He's talked to me a lot while I've been in the shower. Do you know what I'm saying? Third question, how would Holy Spirit describe what it is and what it's made from? And the fourth question is to ask Jesus, if I could use this to help someone else, how would I do that? How would I use it to help someone else? So like for me, the first thing I got was a mirror. The second one is look. The third one is like a mineral, but I was seeing actually the mineral of mica, which is actually really um, like rainbowy and kind of clear and very beautiful. And I felt like God was just saying, like, all of these things, like, you're going to help people see their identity in me. That's how I would help someone with that. Sunil, what did you get? Oh, my first first one was plunger. 
and then unclogs uh, plastic and um, how can I use it to help? How, how can someone else use it? How can I do it? It's to, sorry, it's to lend it to them. So lending the lending of the plunger. Okay, which is helping them unplug things maybe in their life. Okay, cool. Dan, what did you get? I got toothbrush. I got teeth. And I, I think I, I meant to describe the, the item I gave you, the purpose of it. So you're like toothpaste. I should have said silver. The toothbrush is silver. So okay. we'll line up, more line up with what you're saying. And then I give it, not my toothbrush, some do their own toothbrush. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to somebody else so, so they can, so they can, so they can use it to be clean and they can eat, eat the good things, eat the good word. So they can okay, do it. They can good. The they need. Fresh. Yeah. Cool. Jeff, what, that's awesome. What'd you get, Jeff? So I didn't get a fresh cup of coffee from my brother. So yeah. Um, I've, I've got a toothbrush. Yeah, his name is Micah. So we've got the same, but I haven't got coffee. I've got a toothbrush. I've got cleaning teeth. It's made from plastic. And you'd give it to someone who has lost theirs. Not mine, but another, a new one. Someone who's right. lost theirs. I love you guys to clarify. Not my I toothbrush. <laughs> That's so good, though. That's so good. And uh, Peter, what about you? So mine was razor, and it, it cuts, and um, it was gold. And I just felt like the Lord was like saying that um, as His, it's it's all, when we're when we're cleaning our face, especially guys or ladies, other places. Um, it's it's like we're we're cleaning off things that aren't necessary, and the Lord is like you, saying that the gold is precious to Him, and this is precious as He is actually taking away things off of us that are not necessary, and it's a mm. precious thing. To him. Wow, so good! You got all that from a razor in the bathroom. <laughs> You guys, seriously, though, this is how God can speak to us anytime, any place. And I just want to um, point out some of the ones here. A towel drying, cotton coverings. Very good. Um, to help them clean up and refresh themselves. Uh, body lotion. Yes. Lather yourself watermelon to feed others quench their thirst. That's so good. Um, show them how valuable treasure they are. Priceless in Papa's eyes. Absolutely. Shower gel, wash, nourish, and clean. You know how many people need cleaning right now, really? Like, we need our minds clean, the things that just are taking up time and refreshment. That's such a good word. A toothbrush, clean, plastic, protect someone's teeth. Yes, yes. So now, okay, you guys, I'm actually going to give you homework. And this is going to be probably the craziest homework you've ever had. Okay, but I will say this. You don't need to tell people about the bathroom aspect of it, okay? But I want you <laughs> to look at some way that you might be able to take the word that Jesus just gave you right now. Like for me, I got this word about helping people look and see their own identity, like see their reflection is like rainbowy. It's beautiful. God loves them. And for me to help someone see their identity in Jesus more, okay? So this week, whatever it was, that God gave you, and here's another one from Abigail, hairspray, hold in place, water, help people hold the style the Lord has for them, so good, lighthouse, stand solid, helping others to shine, yes, so amazing, so friends, I want you to take this word, I want you to reflect on the word that Jesus gave you this week, every time you go in the bathroom, I want you to think, which is daily, I hope, um, but think about that. Ponder, you seriously have homework in the bathroom. I mean, you know, there's a first for everything. <laughs> but I want you to ponder how you can actually, like, bless other people with this word. Like, what did God say to you? Was it for you to bring refreshment? Was it for you to help clean something? Ask Holy Spirit how you can actually do that. And then next week, come back and tell us what happened, what God, how God used it to actually bring that into their life. But I promise you, if you ask Holy Spirit to remind you, he is going to remind you about this all week. He really oh. is. Like when you go in the bathroom, I'm just releasing right now. The Holy Spirit is going to draw your eyes to that item. And you're going to remember that word and reflect on that word. And you're going to come back here with a testimony of how God used the word he gave you today to encourage and bless somebody else. Amen. So get back to me and let me know. Yes. <laughs> so cool. Homework. <laughs> you even wrote it up. 
how does this word help someone else? Yes, thank you. <laughs> and remember, new toothbrush, new toothbrush. <laughs> 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 All right, so, um, okay, so we have another like 10, maybe 15 minutes, and then we're gonna wrap this thing up. So are there any words you guys have ready to give to people here on our little list? I'm not sure, do we have a new list, Jeff? I'm sure. I'll do it now. Okay, cool. Is anyone ready? Because if not, I do have a word for someone. Or is someone else ready to go? go Peter, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Um, crazy Miles, I think you, you asked for a word. I think we had you up yes. there. Miles, and, yeah. and, stuff. And, and I just want to assume something, and I'm going to assume it in the right way, that the word crazy that you have crazy is a good kind. Kind of crazy, and so I want to bless that word, that good kind, like that risk-taking kind of crazy, and I just want to bless that on you. But I think that there's been some things spoken against you um, in regards to the word crazy, where people have said that you're crazy in a negative way, and I just want to break that curse off of you. I just want to break any word curses off of you that would say that you are that you're going crazy, or that you might be crazy, or that you're nuts. And I just want to break that off of you right now in the name of Jesus. I don't want to assume that that's been the case, but I, if that is, I just want to. If it's not, just just chuck this out. But if it is, I just want to. I just want to be obedient if that is the case. So I just speak that over you. That we just break that right now. We just break those word curses that have been spoken over mm -hmm. you. I just release love and peace upon you, and I release, I release the fire of God on you, crazy Miles. I release the fire of God on you. I release the fire Ooh. of God. Come on, I release it. I release that love, that one that that would that would that would actually make you crazy for him. That 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 crazy heart that you have, it's in your name. So I just release that upon you. And you know what? 14, Fortnite. I speak Fortnite on you. That in a fortnight, things are gonna change. There's gonna be in the in the next fortnight, there's some, there's gonna be a change in you as you as you come into agreement and alignment with the Lord in this next season. In that you wait, you wait, and at the end of this for, at the end of this fortnight, you do this daily, we uh, hourly, as, as much as you possibly can, Miles. I'm gonna call you Miles. I say you are gonna see a change in you in a fortnight. You're gonna see a change. There's gonna be a a, a a change that you can see. Sometimes we. We can't sometimes see uh, uh, see the forest for the trees, but you're going to notice a difference, and people around you are going to notice the difference as well. And so I release that change, that good change, that that, that upon you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And um, Miles, I also have just an add on for that. Um, uh, like when when Peter was saying, um, uh, people call you crazy in a bad way. I think um, the word weird popped up in my head also. And I mean, weird is, is, is something that people use as a bad word. Like you call someone weird and it's like, oh, why are you so weird? But actually I've been called weird my entire life, right? And I don't mind it because I really don't care what people think. <laughs> but I've been, I've been told I'm weird my entire life. And a couple of years ago, I Googled the word weird and it means suggesting something supernatural or unearthly and i mean i just blew up with that so this negative word people have been using against me they've actually been speaking god's supernatural love into my life the entire time so i'm speaking that supernatural love from god to you every time someone mentions the, the word weird or called you by that, take it as a positive because it is such a good thing to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and to be honest, like Tanil is so creative. So I think that it's part of it because out of people's boxes, but it's because you're so creative. And there is another lady, Olisa oh, Brevere, who does a lot of like, uh, she's a Christian speaker and stuff. She had four sons and she said one of her sons was like, always like the weird one. Like he was just out of the box. Like no one could understand him. Well, now he works for Google. You know what I mean? So like, <laughs> like those people are the cutting edge people that the other ones don't understand. Like Albert Einstein, you know, those are those people. So just, yes, I love that to That was the awesome. I love it. I'm remembering that for the future. Come on. You are not weird. You are, well, you are weird in the supernatural weird. sense. God yeah. is increasing you in that. Amen. Come on. Jesus. Yes. 
I'm like, I take that. I'm like, the more weird, the better. I mean, we just did a bathroom activation when you're homeless. I mean, that was very weird. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. All right. Anyone ready with a word? Oh, I've, I've got one. Um, I've got one for um, Kwandiwe. And uh, funny enough, Kwandiwe is a friend of mine. And um, we call her Q. So um, Q, this is for you, homie. Um, I know I know the things that you're going through in life, but like, this is this is this is from him. This is from God. Um, there's there's you've you've been given word from God um, to do certain things, and you've stuck to those things. And there's a payout. I can call it a payout at the end of it. So just keep keep on track, um, and just don't don't be worried about about like not being able to see the future because it's almost like there's this mist around you and and that you can't see you can't see like six six feet in front of you there's 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 literally just blank around you and you're not sure if you're going the right way or if you're you're even in the right place but god has told you to be where you are right now so just keep on trusting in him and you'll see how everything falls into place. Because now I'm seeing like, um, what's that game with the shapes? And Tetris. The shapes? Tetris. 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 Yes. I'm seeing Tetris. And like you know, when you play Tetris, like 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 perfectly, like in Y, you play it, and then it like breaks a line away, and then like you add up, add up, and it breaks a line away. When when we when we grow. We we we're building those lines, and then when it when we get it right, that line breaks away. And it's not always a bad thing when things break away. Sometimes we need to re be released from things. So the, the 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 place you're in is where God told you to be, and it's just it's just a, a thing of patience to 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 see um, because I, I I think He's put you in a cloud for a reason. They, it, it's it's now it's time to just like fully fully immerse yourself in your faith and just lean on him like like fall backwards onto him that's all you have to do right now mm. that's so good and i just want to add to that when Tanil was talking about the fog it reminded me of testimony with uh george mueller from like the 1800s and he literally was like on a ship i mean this is in the 1800s. He was on a ship. It was heading into port, but there was so much fog. Actually, it was in, I think even Nova Scotia or something. It was Canada. And he was heading in, uh, but they couldn't see. So the, the captain came to him and said, hey, I'm so sorry, but we're not going to make it. You're not going to make your meeting. And George Mueller was a great man of faith. And so he said to the ship captain, let's go down and pray in the bottom of the ship. So they went down to the bottom. They started to pray. He prayed, and he commanded the fog to lift. And then the captain started to pray and George Mueller stopped him and said, first of all, he's like, you don't have faith for it. And second of all, the fog is already lifted. They went back up to the top and all the fog was gone. And many people on the ship came to know Jesus. But I just want to speak to you right now that you are going to increase in your faith levels. Like your faith levels are going to increase. Like you might see yourself kind of like that ship captain, like, yeah, I don't have enough faith for that. But you know what? You're hanging around people like Tanil and other people like that who do have a lot of faith, and it's going to rub off on you. Seriously. And you're going to end up being that person who ends up praying that prayer. They're like, this is kind of crazy, but I'm going to try it. And then you're going to see that God is going to show up for you in a really big way. And you're going to remember that fog moment of that man from the 1800s, and God just did it for you. So I just see that God is increasing your faith in this in this season. So blessings to you. <laughs> awesome. All right, Jeff, you wanted to add? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I'll beat the front be quick. So I saw your name, Gwandi Way, and and what I felt was it ends in Way, and I I just saw that like there's there's your way, and there's his way, and there's your way, and I just felt like it's not about what we do as such. It's about what we allow him to do how we allow him into our space. And I just felt like sometimes, you know, I, I, I'm guilty of this. I'm thinking to myself as well. It's like, well, hold on to something. I, 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 this ain't dealt with. I need to 
know that this is dealt with before I can move on. And I just felt like sometimes God just goes, you know what? Just let, just loosen your grip. Just loosen your grip on that situation. Just loosen your grip on that because I will deal with it. You just got to leave it. Just, just put it down and leave it. If, if, if you grip it onto that, you can't grab the other gold. There's more gold to grab. So let, let go of the other stuff that, you, you know, just release your fingers a bit. Just, just let that go. And as you feel it going, God will deal with it. And I, and I just believe it, it's a step of faith. It's, it almost feels unnatural to do that. But I just thought as you do that, and I'm speaking from experience, as you let go of certain situations, you just see God stepping in. You go, wow, I did not know you was going to do that that way. Because he's God. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, I, I didn't, I, I wasn't expecting you to do that. I've been praying in, in, in this fashion. And I and people have told me this. And I, I just feel like, yes, but they may not have always been correct. I might not be right right now. So you need to weigh this up. But I think there's certain situations I've had to let go. And wow, this thing just left, man. It went. It went completely. And I turned around that way. Like Pete said, turn to your right. And I was like, what? I, I was so this, like, holding on to just, just loosen your grip. And it's like, I, I want some of that. I want some of that. I want some of that from this direction. And it will come. And it will come. And I just think it's, it's a massive step of trust, trust, trust. And then the faith will increase. Faith will increase. That's what I'm seeing for you right now, God, anyway. Bless you. Awesome. All right, team, is anyone else ready with the word? Otherwise, we're going to blitz a few and then we're going to finish because we are at the two-hour mark and we really try to cut that up. Hey, look at that. Did you guys see that? Peter did. I didn't see Peter put it. I was actually, like, getting more of the word when he did that. <laughs> it's the same actually, at the same time and did not know it. Come on. That's Jesus. You go ahead, Dan. You go. <laughs> okay. I saw uh, a hand, like a, 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 a mail opener. was like a hand knife. Name? Sorry, sorry. The name is Kevi, right? Kevi, yeah, Kevucha. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see it here, but anyway. It was really early on. It was really early on. Right. Okay. Kevichusa. I probably said that completely wrong. Yeah. How do you spell it? K E O K E V I M Z. Space Z. Space. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. So if you're on, sir, uh, um, I'm assuming it's a guy, right? Kevy's guy. Not sure about that. Not, not sure. No assumptions. I think it no might assumptions. be a woman. It might be because that, yeah. Well, at the two hour mark, two hour, one minute, 52, if you find this, Kevy, I saw uh, uh, an envelope like mail opener knife and it turned and it started tightening down the screws um, like it was fixing something, like a piece of equipment, like a generator. And it was tightening down. And I feel like the words that are carrying that you're carrying, Kevy, um, that that are sort of sharp, and they're like a mail opener. They're opening up things, but they're tightening down the screws to what helps generate, helps their life function. That sometimes some things function, but they loosely function. Like they sometimes, for some people, I mean, you're just helping tighten down the words that people have given, promises that they've had, things they've heard from God. Uh, Things they've invested in, Kevy. I feel like you do a really good job of opening a word of knowledge or things that God puts on your heart, and you share them. And it, like this little screwdriver, it's it's got this 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 little screw, and you're tightening tightening down these very intricate parts of people's lives that are helping their whole thing go. Uh, it's like a, a part in an engine of a vehicle or something that needs to be placed appropriately and fixed so the whole car is affected and the whole family can travel and you're very good at the wisdom that god gives you through the words and it's helping people put the whole thing together just sort of tightening confirming them strengthening them i think hebrews mentioned strengthen weak, weakened knees kevy you help people you strengthen people's knees you you strengthen people you you sort of press like a brace like that cast you help them be affirmed in christ and you're a blessing and you carry that love of God. So bless you, Kevin. Great. Okay. Peter. Just a little bit. I just I just want to say, Kevy, uh, keep knocking. Keep knocking on the door. I feel like the Lord is asking you to keep knocking. Keep knocking. Keep seeking. Keep seeking. Keep seeking. You will knock on the door will be open to you. Seek and you will find. And I just and I just see that for a little uh, a tenaciousness coming to for you. 
for you to, to keep at that, to keep going. And the Lord's going to, to release to, he's going to send a release to you as you keep doing that. So bless you. Can, can I just say, when I saw your name, Kevy Chusa, I don't know what, I, I saw King Holder. I saw you almost like a caretaker that you've, you've got this big ring of keys and God's just going to add you keys so you can open them doors with no issue that Pete's just spoken to you about. I don't know why I've seen Kevin Chusa as, as a key holder, but yeah, she's going to open them doors. It ain't going to be an issue. Awesome. All right, friends, I'm going to blitz a few names here. We may not get to all of them. We're so sorry, but we're going to do our best to just give you a little bit of something here um, if we can. But just remember, tomorrow we have that workshop. If you are available, please come. It's going to be amazing, amazing. Uh, I'll post the information as soon as we're done in the link so you can check it out. Also, the Zoom, I think, I already posted that. So that's all you need. It's just the Zoom information or look on my page. You will definitely see it. Um, but we look forward to seeing you there. It's going to be fun. All right. So real quick here. Um, Sherry, I actually actually felt like there. I did have a word for Jennifer for a while now. But um, Jennifer, I kind of got, okay, this is weird. I got Jennifer, then banana fur, then I got banana, and then I got banana cream pie. So <laughs> I know. That's how that went. But Jennifer, that's good. <laughs> and I didn't have a banana. Oh, yeah. I just won't have any pie. But anyway. Uh, I know, seriously, it's how my brain works sometimes. Holy Spirit, what can I say? <laughs> like, that's weird. That's weird. All right. Anyway, so Jennifer, um, I just feel like God is saying, like, you're going to taste and see that I am good. And just like bananas are plentiful, like they're everywhere and they're so, like, they're plentiful. I don't even want to call them cheap because they're actually a very valuable resource. You can do so many things with bananas. But I feel like God is saying in the season, you're going to see in little ways Look around for the little hints of God, like little kisses of heaven, because you're going to taste and see that the Lord is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Stephen, I know you wanted like some prayer for your kids and grandkids. I actually just saw a picture book and I saw like, a, like, a, you know, those like they have these apps now where you can like color in that the colors of the pictures already. And I just like the pictures already there. You just color it in. And I feel like this is going to be a season of ease for your family to color in the picture, things that have been black and white. The Lord is just going to add such a colorful and joyfulness and childlikeness and playfulness. And so we just bless your family in like the storybook, the wonder, the wonder of God and the supernatural, even like Jack and the Beanstalk type stories in your family that you're going to see provision and you're just going to see the, the wonder of who God is. OK. And um, all right. So, Neil, you have two quick words. Yeah, pretty quick. Um, both, both for Eli and Liz. Um, I just got that um, it's time to speak to the dead bones. Just that. <laughs> okay, great. And that is in, um, that is in um, Ezekiel, where yeah. literally like any area of your life that feels dry or is just not producing vibrancy in life, any area of your life, speak to it because God wants to change your situation. He really, Amen. really does. That's yes. awesome. Very cool. Oh, there, there's Eli, but it's okay now. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, let's see. Just want to finish out a few more names here real quick. Mama Fishy, we just bless your internet in Jesus' name. We just declare it's going to work, but we just say blessing and increase on your family, that you will just experience the pleasure of God in this season. Very much. All right. And just going to do a couple more, and then we are going to be done, friends, for today. But there's always next weekend. Sharon, you are just a beautiful flower that the Lord is continuing to bloom. You're in a season of blooming. So just continue to open up and bloom, and you will just see the radiance of the Lord upon your life. You are leaving such a beautiful fragrance of the kingdom. And Heather, we just bless you from Canada and all your studies and work that you're doing. We just say, Open doors. I just speak Isaiah 22, 22 over you right now. Jo Joelle, I just speak over you. You're in Lebanon. We just say protection over your friends and family and just resources. So I saw the video of your church that got literally blown up in a way. Lots, lots of it got blown up. So, Lord, we just pray for your family. We just pray for your heart to just be at peace, shalom in this season. But, Joelle, I just see you like with the microphone and a speaker. And I just feel like, again, the Lord is going to use you to speak to the nations. The Lord is going to use you to speak to the nations. So get ready. And Jill, we just bless you. I see lots and lots of fish. And I just, I know you like fishing, but I see you going fishing and you're going to have such a great catch. I just feel like every day you can catch something sweet 
catch something from the Lord. So we just bless you with that. All right. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> and Lucian, yes, yeah, so Lucian, I just see you in your head. I see a computer. I just see you're very analytical and you're very good at strategies and solutions. So right now, I just want to open up your brain literally in heaven's way. I know, sorry, that's a little bit of a crazy word right there. But we just release the heavenly knowledge and solution that every there's no nothing is stuck in heaven so we just release that you will have every answer to every solution that needs to come because you have holy spirit inside of you and there we are never ever stuck there's a solution for everything and i just release that god is going to open it up and you're going to get downloads from heaven even in your dreams at night god is going to give you downloads to increase business economy and finance or whatever it is i'm not actually sure what you do but God's just going to increase it in your life. So blessings to you. All right. Okay. Well, I know. Yes, Dan. Sorry. I'm just, just, I really felt there's joy, Mr. Grange. I'm just sneaking in there. I know Peter, uh, just, there's just a joy. And I, I just feel there's just a life in the song. And it's, it's like you're renewing it like a, like a, like a classic oven, you know, roasted barbecue. And you have that wood smell. Like there's a joy that's, bringing up new life, even to like old things. It's very rustic, but it's very memorable, but there's very strong and new things happening for you, Miss LaGrange. I just, I just had to throw that out there. I just, I, I feel like you're a cool person to have a barbecue with, but I feel like God's really doing things in your life and there's a real joy in your life. Awesome. Jeff, did you have something? Oh yeah. I've just got a quick word to Monique LaGrange. She's actually online because she just commented. So, Monique, I saw your name as Lagrange, and I just saw grand as in huge. And I just see there's going to be a massive growth in you and your capability and your faith. And I just see it as, you know, the, um, less of me and more of him. And I just see that this is a real sort of proper one of those points where it's just going to go, wow. And he's just going to pour and pour and pour and pour and pour and pour all over you. And it's going to be so much, it'd be overflowing. And it's just going to spread out and hit everyone. That's what I'm thinking, feeling for you right now, Monique. Big. And I mean, bigger than you can imagine. Grand. Grand, grand, man. <laughs> awesome. And is it Irma? Is that your cousin's name, Tanil? Yep. Yeah. So real quick, I just want to say something quick, and then we're going to close, and then we'll come back to you also again. But Irma, I just see a sandwich, and I just see God is going to fill you and fill you with different types of things that just taste and see the Lord is good. He's filling you with his goodness. He's filling you with his joy. He's filling with you with his love. He's just filling you with the fruits of the season. And all you have to do is take a bite. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Help me to see the goodness of the Lord because it is everywhere. We just have to ask him to show us where it is and he will show us and you will see and taste that the Lord is good. Yay. All right, friends. We have got all, oh, this is so cool. Jeff, look at that from Monique. This is her prayer. And thank you. Yes. Guys, way to go team. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is so amazing. Friends, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, the workshop is tomorrow if you're able to come. Also, remember, Peter is doing prophetic consultations. So literally message him, please, 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 and book that up with him. It's going to be an amazing, amazing experience. All right, guys. Blessings. We'll see you next weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.